Hello everybody and welcome back to the French Plains. Um, as you can see, it's snowing, but we still have work to do. Now, I've come down here early this morning and I've cleared out a load of trees from this area. You might remember there were trees all over this piece of field where I am now. I'll tell you what, I, I'm gonna go and put the tractor's lights on because it's, it's quite dark and we will get out of December as soon as we can, I think, but we've got a few things to do. Now, this is my project for the winter. Um, I want to make a vineyard here and at the moment I can't really see it because <laughs> look at it it's bleak it's all very bleak but um, it will be a vineyard one day well in March when we have to plant to plant the vineyard so uh, what we'll do for the moment is I'm just going to I put some trees here to be collected let's jump over here um, what I'll do is just cart these ones over here as well, so... Okay, so that's all the wood uh, sorted out, so that's good. So, uh, while I'm here with this tractor and the, uh, the cultivator, what I'd like to do is to go and cultivate this other field here which had sugar beet in it. So I'm going to do that now, and I also need to do something about this patch here. For one thing, there are tree stumps here. I'm not sure if I can get this one. I've tried it before, but I might need to get a stump remover. Anyway, I'll do that some of the time. We will, for now, just cultivate uh, this piece of land here. Because this is, I think I'm right in saying, Oh, it's, it's cotton and it's withered. I thought it was sugar beet. It's cotton and it's withered, so it's useless field anyway at the moment. So we're gonna, we're gonna turn this into a vineyard, but first of all, I've unfolded, I've lowered, and I'm gonna go around here and cultivate. And I think the area in the middle, we probably will need to plow because there's all bushes and everything all over it. But for now, I'll just cultivate this. I'll do a fast forward and I'll see you when I finish. Okay, so that didn't take very long, so that's pretty good that I've done that. Um, I think what I'd like to do now uh, is to turn the engine off and to sell some of our wares. You'll see uh, that this is our, our area in the south where we have this patch of land which we bought primarily to put factories on. And we've got two factories now. We have a dairy and we have a sugar mill and we've got quite a lot of sugar to sell so what I think I want to do now is sell some of this sugar right then let's leave the lights on to brighten the place up and I'm not sure if I need to be super strong I'm not sure if I do so anyway I'll, I'll put this on the back of the truck and I'll see you in a minute when it's all done okay so that's all done um, let's go to Magazine Fermier I know where that is so Let's just strap it all down. We've got 17,000 litres of sugar, so that's good. So that'll give us... Well, I'm not too sure how much milk producing cows are, but uh, we'll, we'll drop this lot off and then we'll find out. So here we are approaching Magazine Fermier, which is to the right as we approach, down here. Um, I might have to leave the lorry up here after I've been to Magazine Fermier to... Uh, to, to fetch a logging trailer because we need to sell all that wood but anyway let's sell the sugar first it's just round here um, and it's just in here so I've been here before you might have seen the episode but uh, it's not through this little alleyway here no sugar's not accepted here 
So we go to this this point here to sell it. There we go. Okay. We even get an environmental score reward. And probably because we're precision farming at the moment. We've done a couple of precision farming fields. I don't think they're going to have a hundred score on them because... Oh, hang on. <laughs> I went a bit too wide. I like to go wide, but that's a bit too wide. Um, yeah, so... Um, I Our precision farming fields, I've been told to roll them. That's the instruction on the on on the information the, on the in, the field info, but I don't like rolling things under precision farming because it compacts the soil and there's something in in precision farming about don't compact the soil, so I'm not sure what to do. Anyway, I'm going to leave my lorry here. Now we've got twenty six thousand nine hundred and six hundred ninety three. Uh, I'm going to go to our cow shed. And the cows are wisely staying inside at the moment because it's so cold. Hello, cows. So, if I go to the trigger here, I want Holsteins, but I want 12-month-old Holsteins. Now, how many of those can we buy? How much money have we got? 26,693. I can spend all of that. Uh, I can't afford to do that. I can't afford 35. Let's see how many I can afford. 25,000 so I can get 22 12 month old do you know what I'm gonna buy them yes okay hello new cows so we've only got a little bit of money but that's okay because we have things to sell the one thing we have all these silage bales which we can't do anything with at the moment apart from sell we're gonna sell these when they're silage fermenting 33% Okay, let's get back to our lorry, and we need a logging trailer. So, forestry equipment, timber runner, that's what they call it. Flegel timber runner. So I think that's... Is that the thing we need? No, nothing suitable in trailers, so I'm going to go for the timber runner. Uh, how much does it... Uh, 1989, okay, let's borrow that. Lease that. Here it is, and let's see how much we get for our wood. So I'll go down immediately to the south again, which will take probably half an hour in game time, but now's the time to do it. Uh, should we just make sure, actually, that we have somewhere where we can, we can sell our wood? Uh, I know, happen to know there's five productions around the map, and Forest is Le Loop. I think we can sell our wood here, don't you? Yeah, here. Okay. Let's go back to our lorry. And once again, we'll drive down to the south. And I will see you when we get there. Okay, so here we are after another long drive from the north to the south. Here we are with our logging trailer. So I'll just find a way onto the field and we will I think I'll turn it round this way so we can toss the caber onto it have you ever seen that? they do it in Scotland, tossing the caber so I'm going to need to use some super strength and
I will see you when we get there, okay? And then hopefully we haven't gone completely wrong here and got all this wood and we can't sell it. I suppose we could turn it into wood chips somehow, but that's going to cost even more money. Right, I'll see you when we're at Forestier's Le Loop. So here we are, I finally made my way here. It seemed like a, a never-ending journey, but we're here and we need to find our way to the cell point. Hopefully it's the cell point. Open up please, thank you so much. So, if we... That looks like the cell point there, so if we put our wood in there, will it sell? Okay, we're in the trigger, so let's get out. Yay, we sold our wood for 14,000. Not all of it though. Let's come into the trigger. 5,000, we've got about 22,000 for that. That's fantastic, that is fantastic. That's what I wanted. So, okay. <laughs> Let's go and get some more, shall we? I'm going to put it on like one times time because this is taking a long time to do. You know, there's a it's a big map, and and um, there's you know it's going to take about three journeys I think to sell all this wood, but we're going to have some money at the end of it, which is fantastic. So right. Hopefully there's no, not too many more calamities. Oh, I nearly went over. All right, I'll see you when we get back to our our farm, our our farm in the south. Okay, here I am back from my long sojourn up to the north, and we'll do the same thing again until we get all this wood sold. Uh, so I will do a fast forward because otherwise we're taking up the whole episode with loading the wood. I might just cut it. I don't know what I'll do. We'll see. We'll see when I've done it. <laughs> well, I think that's all I can do for this lot. I'm not sure if I get this lot in a third errand, but yeah, let's strap it all on and let's get back to Forestier's Le Loop, I think it's called. I think that should be okay for the next uh, yeah, the next journey. Let's get back up there. Um, I had a big mishap putting all the wood on this time because I had super strength on and I accidentally tipped the trailer over and all the wood came out. So I had to do it all again. So that was fun. <laughs> so I'll try not to do that on the way. Uh, I'll try not to flip the lorry on the way. So, let's get back up there and I'll see you when we get there. I'll cut the journey out. Do you know what? I cannot believe I made it here today. I've had such catastrophes on the way here. I tipped, I probably left it in the video, I don't know, just for fun. I tipped the lorry over and had to use super strength to write it, but it wasn't easy. And I will have earned every single penny of what, whatever we get here. So let's drive into the trigger and get our reward for a stressful day. <laughs> Okay, I'm not sure if it helps, but I'll unstrap it all. Right then. 27,000, a 294, 294 euros environmental score reward. So that's fantastic. We've made such a lot of money with this wood. I'm very surprised, actually. I didn't expect that. Uh, and we've got some more wood to sell as well. Um, now, I may cut that out because, you know, this is all going to be about selling wood at the moment and there are other things to do. Uh, one other thing I'd like to do, actually, is to... One thing we need to do is to repay 10,000 euros. 
So, and also, I want to go and buy our tab to... Yeah, I'll tab here and I'll go over to the cow shed and I'll buy some more milk producing cows because I want as many as possible. I'll see you when I'm over there. So here we are. So open animal dialogue. I want 12 months old, old Holsteins and <clears throat> eight. Why can't I have more than eight? Can I not? Oh, I've only got 80. I can. I see. I can only put 80 cows in here. So uh total 9440 so yeah we'll buy those okay let's get back uh, get, let's get our lorry back and get the rest of the wood sold i think and then we'll find something else to do okay so here we are back at the field again now I was thinking something on the way down here, which is that we haven't checked our fields at all today, and there might be something needs doing. Um, and I was also thinking about these bushes. Now, I think I'll do this off screen, but I think landscaping is going to be the only thing that gets rid of these things. So I'm going to do that off screen just in case I make a right Horlix of it. <laughs> so um, I think what I'll do now is to get in the class because the class is the machine that can uh, go onto the field with the sprayer and, and all that kind of thing because it's got the skinny wheels on it. it do, they don't look very skinny but they are the skinny wheels I promise you. So I'm going to take the class and go up to the fields and check on them. So um, bear with me and I will see you in a minute when we get there. It's a long journey I'll see you in a minute. Right, here we are at one of our fields. This is 66. Uh, this is not a precision farming field. We we did this under own old school methods. So barley is growing. There's nothing about weeds on here, so that's fine. I think we can leave this field. Uh, and nothing about fertilising. I think that field is finished and we can't do anything else until harvest. So let's go up to our other two fields at the top. Right, here's our other field, and we put oats in here, I think. Yeah, oats. Needs rolling. Now, if you've watched an episode before, you know that I'm not very keen on rolling because of compaction of the soil. I don't think... I'm not sure if rolling should be in precision farming. I'm not sure. See, it says field info at the top, and that's kind of the old school sort of uh, how we did things. Needs rolling. And precision farming is at the bottom. There's nothing in precision farming at the bottom about needing rolling. It's at the top. It's like good farmer or bad farmer. <laughs> so I'm not going to roll anyway because it's going to squash the crops. Okay, we've got one more field to look at. Uh, our original se field 72 that we are harvesting. We planted wheat in that field so let's go and have a look at that it's just up, up here I just had a horrible feeling do you know what I'm gonna double check on this field because I had a horrible feeling there were weeds on it I think I need to fly let's have a look in the air you can normally spot them when you're up in the air and I can't see anything Weed medium. Do you know what? I, I think I will weed. Let's turn that off. Let's go back to the class. I'm going to get the... We bought a posh sprayer. A John Deere R732i sprayer. And we have herbicide for it at home. So I'm going to look at field 72 first and see if anything needs to do in there. And then I'll get the John Deere out and spray the field. Because it may need spraying, I'm not sure. Now, this is our field. Let's have a look at it. Let's stand on it. Needs rolling. I'm not going to roll it, as I just explained. Everything's perfect. And there's nothing about weeds. We did already spray this with herbicide. You can see dead weeds just here. They're black. Right, I'm going to go and get, I'm gonna go and get the John Deere sprayer. And I'm going to spray field number 69 because I, th I have a horrible feeling if 
we don't do it, bad things will happen. I'll see you back here when we've got the sprayer. So this is our John Deere R732i sprayer and now I think I can see weeds on the field. Can you see that? Okay. Now this is a, I really like this piece of kit. Um, let's have a look at it as it's unfolding. If you look, hopefully we can see it. There's sort of cameras that look down. Are these the cameras on top here? I think they are. Are they little cameras? I think they are. But anyway, it's supposed to have cameras on it all, all the way along the, the arms to spot weeds. And when it spots them, it sprays them. Spot and spray, I think it's called. So uh, I will lo turn this on. I'll just go along a little bit and see if any herbicide is coming out of it. I'm sure I just saw weeds on the field. Okay, I'm going to go all over the field. It might be a fool's errand, but I'm sure that there are some weeds here. I don't know if I've done this before, actually. I can't see any spray coming out. I'm still going to do it, though. I'll put it on a fast forward, and I will see you when I've finished. Well, I think I've been all over the field now. I can't see any more. They're much more difficult to, they're much more easy to see from this direction than the other direction. Um, I think they're all done. Okay, I think that's about it. I, there's, there's no more. But I was right, actually, to come back and check on the field because I, I you know I was stepping on the field and part of the field it said there are weeds and other parts of the field it said there are no weeds or it didn't say anything about weeds but I'm glad I did come back because there were loads of weeds in there actually much more than I thought okay let's take this back and we've got the class track tractor back to our farm now so that's good everything else is in the south so we'll take this back and then I think we'll finish off the day by finishing off that forestry that we were doing. But uh, I'm so glad we came back to do this because, do you know what, while, while I think about it, just stop the tractor, I want to look at our precision farming because I want to see what our score is at the moment for those fields. So precision farming, seed rate, score, so 69 for 69 <laughs> 69 69 for feel 69 and the top one I assume is nitrogen but nitrogen should be perfect I don't know about that nitrogen pH maybe that'll all come out when we harvest the field because you don't get your final score until the field has been harvested so and I wonder if we'll be deducted points for not rolling yeah I'll find we'll find out when it's harvested but that'll be in a few months yet so anyway I'll take this back and I'll see you back at the other field where we can finish off the logging okay so we're back on the field so let's get the rest of this stuff done shall we I'll, hopefully we can get all this finished now in one go uh, without any mishaps without having to pick up the track pick up the uh, the truck <laughs> which I've had to do a couple of times now because of accidents 
So I'll sort all this lot out and I may or may not fast um, time lapse it because we've done a couple of those already. So I'll probably see you when I've put all this on the lorry. Okay, well, I've nearly got it all on. There's just one more little bit to get on <laughs> here. Uh, let's see if I can do it without everything going kaplunk. Do you know that game? If I just put it in the front here. Oh, okay. No! Oh, I forgot to turn the... That's what happens when you forget to turn the super strength off. Okay, it's all strapped down. I don't think we've got any more wood here. No, we don't. So let's get going. This will be our last thing today. Um, I'm glad now that I put it on just normal speed rather than five times speed because we'll be doing things in the dark again. I don't really like doing things in the dark. Apart from sleeping. <laughs> so, okay. I might film this this trip because this trip is perilous with this load of wood. If you go too fast around the corner, it can be curtains. So I'm going to film the journey and do it in fast motion and I'll see you when we get there. I'll have to look at the map from time to time but uh, I'm sure you can put up with that. I'll see you when we get there. Well, I took the long way around there. I missed a turning, but uh, we got there in the end. We got here in the end. Uh, I hope you like the journey. It's it's a beautiful map. I do highly recommend it. It has its quirks, but uh, I'm really enjoying making the series. Uh, um, I hope this is a good episode. Um, so let's get this sold and see how much we come up with. This should be a good price, actually, because... It's really an overloaded trailer. And let's get it all in. I hope we're in, I think we're in the trigger. Okay, let's see what we set it for. 25,000 plus 500, is it all gone? It's all gone. So we've got another 25,000 for that. It makes me think actually that we should have bought the the uh, plank making business. I wonder if we can buy this. I mean, it's after the fact now, but uh, where do we buy things? Where do we buy it? I don't know. I don't know, but um, I think the the, uh, the plank making business was 70,000. We've made, let me see if I can see how much we've made with wood today. Today, sold wood seventy two thousand. Well, we could have made our our money back, but uh, well, next time we do logging, I think we'll start by buying uh, the plank making factory, whatever that's called, carpentry, I think it's called. <laughs> so, all right. Oops, I'll end by crashing into the barrier. But thanks very much for watching once again. Um, this is where we end today. We end not in darkness this time. We started in darkness today, but ended up 
in beautiful sunshine in beautiful France. So thanks again for watching. I hope you like and subscribe and I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.